It's a crisis that many school districts have yet to conquer, chronic absenteeism. And now some TUSD teachers who just left the district are coming forward calling for change. 13 News Chief Investigative Reporter Valerie Cavasso spoke with them and Arizona Superintendent Tom Horn about this critical issue affecting student learning. So what's considered chronic? It's when students are absent 10% of the entire school year, 180 days, so 18 days or more. A teacher say that's too many days to miss and stronger measures are needed to get them back to class. Kyle Shreve knows all too well what happens when students don't show up for class. They fall behind. The more they miss, the harder it is to catch up. One of his high school students, a senior, racked up around 90 absences last school year. I mean, I'm not going to accept too much late work. They had done one assignment for me the entire year. Shreve says the student was failing the class. You want to work with the kids. Uh, like, I am not a gatekeeper. I do try to help my students reach their goals, reach their dreams. Um, as much as possible. Even though Sharif tried to work with the family and offered solutions, he says the senior continued to miss class and the district did not intervene with any form of discipline. It can be very frustrating when the system itself doesn't help. The district needs to follow up and let the parents know that this is not acceptable. High school teacher Lisa Neighbors had been with TUSD for 25 years. How prevalent is chronic absenteeism? There are students who never make it to first period. There are students who are chronically absent for half a day or full day, 25, 30 absences out of an entire semester. Some people say it's at a crisis level. It is at a crisis level and it is huge. Nationwide chronic absenteeism rates exploded in 2022, double the average before the pandemic. It's no different in Arizona. It's shockingly high. It's uh, statewide average is 28%. Same in Pima County with TUSD, Sunnyside and Marana districts above the average last school year. State Superintendent Tom Horn says it's a major factor in low proficiency rates. We compiled data showing high graduation and promotion rates despite low proficiency scores in many Southern Arizona schools. You can't teach kids who aren't there and it's gonna badly affect the future of the students. So in my opinion, something radical needs to be done. He points to the need for policies calling for district leaders to create or better enforce rules when students miss too many classes in TUSD. There are rules in place, there's policies in place. It's all under code J-E-R. It spells out what happens after three and six unexcused absences. Parents are to be notified, interventions are set in motion, and after 10, high schoolers may not receive credit and younger students' grades could be affected. The code points out pursuant to state law, parents who do not ensure their child regularly attends school may be held criminally liable. But when the pandemic hit, we dropped all of our rules. Everybody, you know, could come and go. The district, she says, is still lax on enforcement. Another TUSD educator explained, middle and high school students who have 10 consecutive unexcused absences are dropped from the school, but some students would miss nine days, then show up for at least one class, resetting the clock. Neighbors says some parents are well aware of the 10-day rule. The teachers say the district also instructed teachers to be lax on attendance at the start of the school day. We still have a lot of absenteeism first period, a lot of tardies. There are students that get to class 45 minutes, 50 minutes late with five minutes left in the class. There's nothing that can be done for that. Yet the policy shows the student will be marked absent, arriving one minute past half of the class time. We have parents who get upset because their students aren't learning and of course the teacher argument is I can't teach your kid if your kid isn't in class. It absolutely should be the highest priority and it's not at this time. 
Horn says he's been pushing for changes in laws addressing chronic absenteeism to not only get parents' attention, but force a district's hand in lax enforcement. The law could require them to adopt policies such as uh, three tardies is an absence and nine, over nine absences uh, you, you flunk. We have to support the teachers in discipline. We have to support them that if the kids aren't there, there's an incentive that the parents have that the students won't go to the next grade or won't graduate. The TUSD teachers I spoke with all agree that new laws are needed to help combat chronic absenteeism. I reached out to the district and all the TUSD board members for interviews. Now the district once again declined an interview and instead sent a response basically saying systems are in place to address chronic absenteeism. The full response is on our website. Val Romero was the only board member to respond. He tells me he's speaking with the district's legal team and others to come up with solutions to address this problem, and we'll continue to dig into this. Valerie Cavazos, 13 News Investigates.